Do you love quotes? I do, especially my own. <laughs> You'll come to know me for a couple of different quotes, actually many. I quote a lot on social media. I, I end up inspired with different things that have come through my own journey, but I'll share two with you today. You are not on a journey. You are the journey. Let me say that again. You are not on a journey. You are the journey. That is a huge, powerful shift that will work its way inside of you if you really contemplate that. Because the thing is, a lot of people think that they're here to get from one destination to another, or they have a goal, or they've been conditioned into believing that what they're looking for is over there, across the street, in another place, or at the end of some long career path. And the truth is, the joy, fulfillment, and satisfaction of life comes through every step of the way. You are the journey through every obstacle and challenge and every win and success, through every experience where you get to learn and you get to grow and you get to expand on your gifts, skills and talents, you are the journey, the ability to unfold and get to know yourself and get to know how you tick and what makes you rock and what makes you smile and what brings sadness. All of that is the journey that you're here to experience. You know, I think we are a lot like the weather or the landscape. We've got lots of different expressions and experiences that we are here to encounter. And that's how we get to know life. It's how we get to know ourselves. And so you are not on a journey. You are the journey. So you're ready for my other quote that I always say? You are experience experiencing itself. So consider a moment that you're not Bob or Jane or Sue or Mary <laughs> or whoever you are. I'm not Simran but that we are all just experience. We are the entire body of experience. We are interconnected experience and we are experiencing ourselves. And that just opens up a whole bigger picture of who we are and why we're here and what's possible and the level of immersion that we can participate in in our own lives. Because all of a sudden, if we look at everything as experience, then it means we don't have to be attached to the emotion of the moment. We don't have to be attached to the experience of the moment. We don't have to be attached to our labels of good or bad or right or wrong or ugly or beautiful. We are simply experience, experiencing itself. So think about the last thing that happened that was really, really challenging and how that sent you into a tailspin perhaps or sent you down the pathway of negative mental thoughts or maybe had you even make some actions uh, that were positive or negative outwardly or inwardly. Those were moments where you identified. You identified with a being of who you are. I talked about the matrix in another video and that was you going back into the matrix. But if you stepped into the broader field of experience and you are experience experiencing itself, then all of a sudden a car accident can just be an experience. A love relationship can just be an experience. Trying out for something that you've never done before can just be an experience. Having a good cry is simply just an experience. And in that, we get to know more of ourselves. We get to know how it feels, the sensations and all the explorations. That's what it's about. You know, I see the signs 11 all the time, 11, 11, all of the time. And for a while, I also started seeing a 111. And the beautiful thing about the number 111 is it is kind of a warning symbol. It is a set of numbers that says, watch your thoughts, positive or negative, because your thoughts create your reality. And so when you think about what you're seeing, and again, if you're not seeing these numbers, you're seeing something and you can pause and take a breath and ask yourself, what is it that this number is trying to tell me? And let yourself develop your intuition a little bit because it is the universe talking to you. It is your higher self, your soul speaking to you. But when you see 111, when that pops up, it's the universe kind of tapping you on the shoulder to say, you might want to be more conscious about what you're thinking, about what you're feeling, about what your energy is in, and about the actions that you're taking. And so open yourself to the subtleties of life, open yourself to the idea that you are the journey and you are experience, experiencing your, itself. It's a really amazing uh, life immersion when you start to look at things this way because the world is speaking to us all of the time. And if you really want a deep immersion of that, 
I invite you to read my book, Conversations with the Universe. You will be astounded at all of the different ways that life is speaking to us on a continual basis, moment by moment. So until next time, go be the journey and be experience experiencing itself. Until next time, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you get every single message that I send out. In love, of love, with love, and as love. Be well.